Hello, and welcome to the wonderful world of energizing. This is Mitchell J. Rabin and Ian Pettit, the father of this wonderful unit you have just gotten, is going to be walking us through how to use this unit for maximum health, maximum wellness, and to overcome any kind of ailments, imbalances you may presently have. So, without further ado, we welcome Ian Pettit to take us through. He'll be talking about how to do it, as well as why we're doing each single move. All right, Ian. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> we're away. Okay. Well, what we first? You might even get taller by doing this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, we have an agent in Melbourne who actually put on over six millimeters in less than a month because his body, uh, the spine muscles relaxed and he straightened up. So you do actually get taller. There's hope. There is definite <laughs> hope. There's okay. nothing that's not irreversible. <laughs> We're going to put this okay. man on the floor while I show you how to assemble this. And, um, and it's very important that you put the legs on before you even try it. <laughs> put the legs on and you'll notice these white wires. Now these white wires are, are not as critical as some people, but many people get the compass out, which is fine. The unit must face north and south. Now with this unit and with every other unit, they have this leather strap on here, which is an identification. This will face north. This will face north. If you're in the southern hemisphere, you'd face it on the south, but by then the factory would have already done the changing of the springs, but yours is assembled correctly. So we uh, we'll assume, we know you'll have faith in us because we have given you the top unit. This is the Rolls-Royce uh, medical tools because what we're going to do is let you heal yourself. We want you to build your energy up. You're here to build up your oxygen and to get joy, to get happiness, to get freedom to get flexibility. So face it north. Now is a very, a very little thing here. Now if we've got the little box and this is facing north in your home and your TV is this side, fine. Face your TV. But the first week I ask for the north placement. The north placement is the way to get rid of the static energy that's in your body. The static energy is extremely important because it interferes with the stress levels and the digestion of your body. So static electricity is what we need to get out. And the first week I like it to be facing north. After that, I ask you either to face north, south, east or west. Please. In that order? Yes, yes. Uh, Preferably north. It's south, not north, south. South is about 20% less. And the other ones are running around about 40 to 50 percent less energy. Mm. Under no conditions, I ask you to go the northeast, southeast, west, east, and corners. It does set up an interference of the energies of the body. We yep. are dealing with the finest energies there is. The human energies are so fine. We're the human energy fields, if I may add this, sure. here, please correct me if please. I'm wrong. You are aligning through this unit and following what Ian is saying, you are aligning yourself with the magnetic fields of the earth. So when that's happening, you are optimizing your physical and mental and emotional spiritual benefit. Very good. So we've got it facing north and we're going to face the camera for a change. I might turn my backside now. <laughs> forgive me, it has to be done. It's nothing personal. <laughs> now, very, very Do you quickly. want me here? Yes, you'll be there okay. for a second. Very quickly, you will not get this in the post, but this is what we're playing with, no. energy. And just a real close up, everything has energy. And what we're going to do is magnify your energy. Matter of fact, you'll see some You look this here. beautiful too, folks. <laughs> uh, see this choice of hands here, There's one, two, three, four hands here. Your hands will go through these varying degrees of energy as you bring the life force and as you magnify your thoughts and clean up your own attitudes. Mm. So that's exciting. Enough and lymph that. system. And lymph system. And we're going to come back to this one later, but we are, you are, you yourself are going to change the stressful position in the cell level to the healthy condition. Wet state, dry state. Dry state is where you lose that excess fluid and the cells communicate. 
This is down the line. We'll give you a bit more on this, but right now we're going to do it. And now you are looking at muscle cells in both, as Ian said, the dry state and the wet state. We're going to be teaching you how to create a dry state, which is the optimal state for your cells relative to your lymph. Right. One of the great parts about this, energy is very quick to work. And when we get a little bit further down the line, after we teach you how to, we'll teach you why to, and energy works so quick. And we're going to ask you in that first two or three days of the machine, take your family and put them in front of the mirror when we show you later and show you how quick energy works. How to move cells, which move muscles, and pull bones straight. Mm. So we're going to relax the body. Now, fantastic. Many people love to in a put simple, yourself. simple way, by the way. Simple <laughs> and quite effortlessly. You will get this in the pack, and it's a chart put together ten years ago. But we had this ten years ago, this chart, and we've cut this down to six different levels. And uh, on the little book, which will come with the unit, it will be describing those six levels, which has compounded the knowledge of taken of over 20 odd years to get this to a simple and sure uh, state of operation. This here, you will see at the bottom, will have for the neck and how to do the eyes. Many people have a lot of success by coning and putting, it, putting their eyes there. But we're going to let you work off this chart but I would suggest that you always do your hip alignment first and your switches second, third and fourth, aligning this energy through the spine and finishing in this kidney adrenal position. So All this will be making much more sense to you in very, just a few minutes. Just a view. Very good. Take the overview. Very good. Uh, it is a shame it doesn't say energizing on there, but it is it's lymphosizing and energizing. While energizing. While energizing. <laughs> okay. Uh, lymphosizing is proven a point. You will get a book, and this will be updated as days go by. This is an Australian version, and okay. we won't be long before we get the American version because this is a, a, a very special time. You open up the center pages, and in plain Australian, clear as mud, <laughs> you'll be able to read the six positions. Okay. And if you read it out, we actually turn the page, and there will be actually the, a bit more logic, a bit more reason there. Okay, very good. The rest is going to be forthcoming. Right. Okay. Right. We so now I get on the lymphosizer. I just got it, right? Yes. What do I do first? The first thing you do... After I put the legs on, of course, and I'm <laughs> faced north. And you don't turn your back Such on the camera. Such good students. I'm allowed to do this because I'm not to turn the back on the camera. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you, you put your hand feet there and bring your hand in a little bit close, a bit comfort. Now if okay. you are a big person, we will allow you to creep a little. But be aware, this is no rebounder, it is a specific tool to perform and to give energy. Every spring, spring has its mate. <laughs> By crumbs. That's the mate for that one? No, there he is there. So. Everyone has a mate, and this one will come here, and this is the, the stress line of the machine. Each spring has a mate. Each one has a mate, and each one you need to keep out of his way of working, because we are going to work in a stressless mode, in a stress-free zone, to give you a stressless release, relax the body so you can release your body. Excellent. Feet forward, none of this right-left business, none of this getting on here and saying, ha, ha, and being a he-man. Yeah. So we've got our feet forward. A so big toe forward is a very good idea. So and the feet are parallel. Parallel. Yeah, yeah. That's this good. is the way we put it when we do Tai Chi. Right. Knees do not bend. We are not into exercise or muscle activity at all. We are into here to gently, holistically treat and move and take each cell in the body into a Gravity free stage four times a second. Mm. Now, it's very awkward to try and do too much at once, so I'd like you to break it down to the breath first. So, we're going to get that breath going, and we'll see something happen here. This man is standing still. Now, please do the little sniffing of the breath, which is a. 
In. In. He's reached the end. He now turns around and goes out. All the way out. Now he comes in again. In Washington, we had a lady over there who started to do this, and she actually started the bounce on her own without worrying about the bounce. And that's it. As he builds up his breath, as Mitchell brings up his breath, he will also bring up the bouncer fraction. And the great part about it, it'll bring it into the right harmony and resonance of the Earth's field with the body of the human being. Two bounces a second is the integrity that has been put into the springing, into the workmanship, to make this energy vibrate. Very good. Now, do not stop breathing or hold your breath in any time during all these uh, exercises. It's very embarrassing for the policeman and the person to come and say, this man dropped dead because they stopped breathing. We ask you to keep breathing <laughs> under no circumstances. Now, just by the breath... That's a good rule in general. Yeah, keep it up. <laughs> Mitchell has actually got the right bounce here automatically by concentrating on his breath. In the past, we've asked people to do two bounces a second. And they're trying to figure out what's a second, what's a bounce, what's... And at the <laughs> bottom of the bounce, you're supposed to take a breath, take a little sniff. The smaller the sniff, the greater the movement of the lymph fluid in the body. The more outs you take, which in other words, the more um, out breaths, out sniffs, the better the cleansing and the better the rest period. Now, I say you're in survival mode if you cannot get up to 20 intakes and 25 outs. So it's 20 little breaths. Within how much time? Oh, you, you, time's not the element. You're doing the Oh, bounces. it's the ratio. The ratio. Between 20 to 25. It's a hard synchronization. Now, many people only start off with four. Four ins and six outs. And they get to 10 in and they're getting the 14 outs. And when they get to the 20, they got the 25 outs. Now we are in regeneration mode. This man has already started to perspire. That simple and that cleansing action has already started. I'm cleansing. <laughs> I'm getting healthy by the moment. <laughs> but he stopped breathing, so we... Oh, not out. really. <laughs> Just we'll slowed it down out. a little bit. <laughs> okay. We've get, keep that going, please, Mitchell, because you've got the optimum movement, you've got the optimum approach. We ask you to put your hand onto the kidneys and the adrenals. There we go. Adrenals. And the most important part of doing this would have been to stroke the backside as soon as you start. Mitchell, take any hand. It is not the... Um, it's the spirit of the law, not the letter of the law. So you take any hand. If you're a right any hand, hand, you take the right hand. But we're going to take the left because I've got my side on. And we're going to pick up gently in the ratio of the bounce. That's it. And we're going to come over. Mitchell, I'm going to turn around a bit more. I'm not going to cross the crease, but I'm just going to go and let that muscle fall up and down. Just let it go. About 20 times. As a matter of fact, if you do it 50, it'll still go to where it was when it's 20. The more you do it, the better you feel. Now, it is important to change very quickly to the other side. Otherwise, the hips let go. And we don't want the hips to let go, because this is a very, very simple, uh, embarrassing, a very fruitful <laughs> We now go to both sides. You thought we had one side. Now they say you really are getting into it. Any hand, folks. Any <laughs> hand. Do both of them. Now, if we stopped, and if you stopped, you would go to the mirror and see your hips are straight. If these hips did not straighten up after that movement there, it is a therapist's job or more energizing will bring them straight later on. There are some chronic hips which have people with glitches out of their legs. There's some people in a lot of stress, but most of our stress is actually taken out if we can just get this loose. These people who like the tight little bottoms have adrenaline running through there and have stressful bottoms. The fact is that the buttocks do hold a tremendous amount of muscular tension. Sure. and uh, are connected to the back. So if you release the buttocks, you're actually releasing the entire back up to the neck. 
Here is the plain, simple logic. These hips are now straight. The top of the hip, now don't forget this is a round bone. Don't go taking one hip here and one there and say, oh, I'm high or low. You can do that. That's cheating. Never cheat in health. <laughs> Put your hand right across, and, and the ladies are easy to get because they've got a hip sticking out. They're, they're very precious. And those hips will be even. Now, with those hips heights level, you now have your spine sitting on a correct posture. We now have the energies going to Mitchell's ovaries. But no. <laughs> if My the lady ovaries. It's an ovaries, and if the man is the testis. We now have the energies going up and down the body. He's used to working with women. <laughs> oh, men are just as important. They're coming through like rockets, our men. Indeed. So, with the hips level, you now have the energies going in. But the big thing is, is to be able to free up the sacrum. Now, if I was a bit lower, I'd be able to get the whole sacrum. And if Mitchell breathed, you would actually do the sacrum. We'll do that later. So, hips level. Now, we go straight on to the second stage. Do tell. <laughs> there's so much happening. You're willing this servants. This, there's so much happening at this stage, I'd love to tell you, but we'll do it a little bit later. But the first we'll thing come is back. now, we'll come back to that one. Very good. Because now it's very quickly. We want to give them the whole routine. Yes, yeah, so they don't have to have the whole garbage on for the whole lot. I mean, the whole perfection here. Yeah. Let's get it. Hips straight, bouncing right, breathing right. Pull energy from your solar plexus or your belly button and put it into the K27s. This is the kidney. It's kidney 27. It's the end of the kidney meridian according to Chinese medicine. Right. And if you want to know where it was, bring your uh, shoulders in like that <laughs> and you finish up with two hollows below the clavicle, below the bone here. Round about the first and second rib. Do not get excited because an inch either way will still work. <laughs> so just do a little there. And it's not a hard jiggle. It's a very gentle jiggle. And here I'm not doing anything down by my belly button, my center. I'm simply holding it right. and energetically and electrically connecting these points with these. And what he's actually doing is switching on the right side of the body and the left side of the body. Change hands, please. He is now going to switch on his left side and his right side of the body. This is the electric uh, circuits that have been proven to do what they call switch-ons. You look a fraction higher. No, you're good. Nope. Yeah, he's, or some are down low, but he's up high. Please note also how small this bounces. In fact, I just went up a little higher than usual. Okay. It's not effortful. It's really simple. It's not how high you go. This is a very interesting thing that is brought forth here. Less is more. My feet are not leaving the mat. Oh, I know that. That's that's no a no-no. Um, is that a no-no? It's a no-no. But if you did want to exercise, you could. But this yeah. is cleaning up. This After is cleansing. Healing. This is the energizing and lymphosizing and cleansing your body at the cellular level of every muscle in the body. Right. What's right. next? Next is to pick, pull this hand straight up here and go right across the top and the bottom lips. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Gently across there. It isn't cleaning your nose and it isn't wiping your ear. And it's not brushing your teeth. <laughs> it's just a gentle light stroke across here. Now, sometimes you'll actually start to get a buzz and an energy charge. You'll start to get a niche. Please just give it a little bit more attention. Just give it a little bit more. Now we're doing the top and bottom of the body. Let's swing hands and do the bottom oh. and the top. Just as simple and as quick as this. Hips straight, right and left, left and right, top and bottom, bottom and top. Now we're going to take this hand and put it to the back, on the top. Oh, this is terrible. Camera, I am doing the right... Oh, he turned Whoops. his back on the camera, the producer did this. It's temporary. Temporary. And there's a little jiggle there. But once again, you no need to move here. Just keep it there and do the jiggle there. We're now doing back and forth. Please change hands and make it forth and back. Now, please do not ever stress out with any of these movements. None of these things will be stressful. Do not lose your shirt or feeling or security if you happen to use the wrong hand in the wrong place. Because just correct it. <laughs> just after a while, you actually feel relaxed and you feel that you're doing the right thing because mm. you just have to do it. Getting turned on. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, now... 
you're going to have to turn your back on the camera again. Again? Yes, because we are now going to go to put the slab of the hand on the back side there and bring this one up here and pick up these knobs. Can you pick that up, Mr. Cameraman? There's a couple of knobs up here. Behind the ear, around the neck. And up a little fraction on the knobs. That's right. Now, there's fluids in there. Actually, if we even look at Mitchell's ear, and this is a very good man, he has extra fluid on this side. And this is where you hold these knobs and continue your in and out breaths. So I'm simply holding. Simply holding. And what, do, what is really happening is the energy is running up one side of the spine through the circuitry, depending on whether it's right and left, whether it's positive and negative, which you don't have to worry about. The research is done. And it'll come down. It'll set up a circuit of energy. I advise people to, this is the time to do the counting of your breaths. This is the time to make sure you have more out-breaths than in-breaths. This is the time that once a week you should come up with a mm, Am I doing 20? Do not stress out if you're doing 19 <laughs> or 12. Just re be mindful. Or that, 6. Yeah, just remember that next time just go a little bit more. It is definitely not a this is stress, this is moving too much fluid through the body, too much lymph fluid, too much oxygen being used. So it's a very gentle and silent movement. Like this. This would be good to put on because this is supposed to be on you when you do these things. <laughs> now, Especially when you're teaching. Yeah. Well, we, I think we have enough display here to know that we do the right thing. How about changing the other hand okay. because you must... Whenever you balance one side of the body, you, you must need to do the, the other. other side. So we got that there. Now this is the time when you check up and also be aware of any reactions in the body. In other words, if you feel a reaction in the body, put the thought into the knee or the, or the ankle or anywhere a reaction. For. Put the thought process into it. And this is visual healing. You actually start to send energy there. And this is the difference between rebounders and lymphocytes. We're magnifying your thought. Remember the magnetic fields of the northern and southern energy here. And you're moving at the correct speed and you've got a vortex of energy. You're still breathing. You're, you're still sniffing. connected to the vortex of energy. Mm -hmm. Coming up right smack in the middle of this mat is you. And whenever you can, become aware of whether or not a muscle or two is relaxed or not. And if it isn't, Notice it and let it go. Right. If it does not go, see some people have the uh, excess fluids around their body. Uh, we're going to deal with them. Uh, I think we've balanced out this side. Yeah, yeah I think you should put these on your kidneys now. <laughs> okay. And you now reach the optimum healing position where everything is done <sighs> for you. Wow, that's very relaxing actually. Yeah, it, it feels very feeling. good yeah. to just come home to your kidneys. Yeah. <laughs> It just puts that extra energy in there. The fear comes out and, the, That's and, right. and you feel supported in the back. And now this is when you, if you do get lower back pain after about a minute with your kidneys there and you still have a pain persisting, I ask you, if the thought hasn't taken it away, you are allowed to do a brush on your back, a brush wherever the pain is. If it did persist, please sit on the edge of it and I'll show you what to do. We're assuming now we've got a calf that is naughty and playing up a little bit. We ask you to sit on the edge and brush down. Oh, you're really perspiring. You've lost another half pound today. <laughs> we lose a lot through the breath, but the most pleasant way is through perspiring. It's very pleasant. It keeps your <laughs> lymph level at, uh, clean at that lymph level. Yes. At the skin level. My so lymph is moving. You brush down. It's electrical circuit, so we're doing a brush down and just a little gentle there, just to make it relax. If someone else does it, it's always better. It is always better to have a different energy touch you because it clears it quicker. Now, we assumed that this was the bad one, so we give it a shake, but we would also do the other side and give it a bit of a shake up. Just in case. And this is number one. Get back on the horse or the push bike. In this case, get back in energize. All right, mate. Thank you. Back on. Back on. Hands on the kidneys. Feet parallel, not far apart. And the standing sniff. up straight. And the sniff starts. And the joy comes. Because now you look for the pain and it's gone. Sometimes it will actually move up. 
And when you have one of those that move up, sit down and move it on and move back on it again. Now, under all circumstances, please, whenever you have a reaction, treat the reaction because it's coming to the priority and we need to do that relaxing and uh, warmth goes in, a little bit of pressure and a bit of respect and you go back on and now it's gone and now you can do your total of 10 minutes. Matter of fact, the longer you do this, the better you feel, the better the feel, the longer you can do it. Dr. West words and I believe they Very do good. work on this unit particularly. So shall we just quickly uh, review all of the positions from beginning to end that we just went through. Right, I want you to go to the end of the whole exercise. Oh, sure. After that seven or eight minutes on here, this is the minimum, good. is now sit on the edge of the unit. You assume now you have no reaction. You're now going to have, oh, you, this is great, Mitchell. Wow. Lay back, please, and take it easy. I've been instructed well, Ian. You have done a great job because the fluids have come out through the natural sources. <sighs> Oh, I'm not going to drink this, but boy, it's good. <laughs> a very simple and profound workout. It's drinkable, don't worry, I'm healthy. It, it's total. Now, when you lay on this, I have a sneaky idea of putting a little weight on these back knobs here. Just a little, if you can handle it. Just about there, just there, comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then, bring the bath down. <laughs> Then I ask you to respect this body and the only part that has been working except for a slight foot movement is these ribs in and out. So you just say thank you, thank you. And because he's a man, I can actually show what to do if you're a woman. <laughs> you go into these rib cages here, under or over or in between, it makes no difference. We are all got these ribs and they're the need appreciation with the gravity coming in here and the energy going in there and loosen this up because we need these ribs to go in and out through the breath motion. We're developing flexibility right. in breath and everything else. We're also de developing the most important the muscle in the body by breathing in and pushing it up. That's the diaphragm. That's the one that brings the energy in and there it is. Never stop. And so for that two minutes cool down Lay down, give appreciation here, uh, test your diaphragm, make sure it goes up and down. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but some people don't move there, so this is important to train. I do mine first thing in the morning, last thing at night. Just put it in there and see if it's working, make sure it's good. This is a good time for the professionals just to lay back here and loosen up this area here. Some do the pelvic thrust, some have that beautiful thrust. There you go. Because this is the whole game that we're about this day. Freeing up the sacrum. Freeing up the sacrum. Because as that sacrum moves, it brings food and energy to the head and it takes toxins out. It That's moves the cerebrospinal fluid up to the brain and bathes it. And you lay here and you rest. Take a few deep <sighs> breaths. You don't have to do your sniffing procedure here. This is a cool down wind up. You can now stand up very gently. As a matter of fact, sit up there for a second. Sure. Let the energy set, mm. settle down. Feels great. And really. that is a very good, simple workout where I'm sure he's lost at least, whew, I don't know if it's half a <laughs> gallon, but it's at least a pint around me anyway. Yeah. And there, there goes a couple of pounds of fluid, just like that. And this is what we want to do is get the excess fluids out. This man is lucky because he's healthy and it comes out through his skin very easy. Some of us only come out in different places, but Mitchell has come out all over, which is the best thing in the world. This is what is a complete... Skin is a big eliminator. Breath is a great eliminator. See what energizing can do for you. Oh, it's, it's, it's humbling to see. We are looking mm. for the disease that it will not turn around. We're still looking for the disease that will not turn around. So if we have a tough one, I want to be called in if you're not getting results. But, Very good. But if you're not doing this re uh, regime, please don't bother lifting the phone because we need to get this basic. It is a simple, go sure. straight into a A to Z. Excellent. The machine's going. The machine's going. You've put the legs on correctly. <laughs> no, we're not going to take the legs that off anymore. That we will assume. The legs are straight. Legs are straight. Feet are parallel and relatively close within shoulder, yes. uh, yep. shoulder width. For sure. 
But that's what the hand is today. Yeah. Right? First is, you've got the, well, you, you're just automatically here because you feel good. It is a real nice, nice experience to have the, uh, the gentle bounce just make you feel good. You now go straight into your hip straightening, please. Hands on your kidneys. Always keep two hands on the body. Thank you. You get it from both directions. <laughs> now we change quickly to the other side. Keeping the bounce down. This is a tendency of everyone. The more the better. Don't right. you believe it. The excess energy that Mitchell's going to take by saving, by slowing down, is going to be used in the cleansing process. This excess energy. Because if you use a muscle, you use oxygen and you put out waste. We don't want any of that Mickey business. Slow down, okay. please. Be gentle. There we go. Keeping his knees straight. This man used to rebound, so he <laughs> needs used to always compensate. My knees are still learning about energizing. Okay. He's now got his hips straight. He now goes into the left and right. Or right and Kidney left. Kidney 27. And, and the umbilicus. Technical names. This is America, mate. Right. And if you wanted to do this for a bit longer, till you feel comfortable, there's no harm in doing these things. I would change now because I like to see. I know it doesn't take long to switch on. In the booklet, it will tell you to do complete. To hold it there for two complete. And then you change hands. Two complete. And then you change hands and go on to the next one. Next. Next is your top and bottoms. Around the lips. And then we change hands. You feel nice and comfortable there. Just hands. Feels very quickly. We now go on to the bottom. Now that's it. Back and forth, forth and back. It makes no difference. The technicalities of it is to do the job. Hello, what's he up to here? He's up to, he's supposed to be doing the little, holding it there and jiggling the end of the governing meridian. Oh, there we go. A little governing Thank meridian. You. And we're back and forth. We now change hands and the forth and back comes in and we guide him down. Yeah, there we go. This okay. meridian, by the way, goes right up the spine, over the head, and, and into the mouth. Stops at the top lip. Stops at the top lip. And the central meridian comes up there. Righto. We now keep his hand there because we, don't, we, want, we, we got him put his back to the camera. Now we pick up this one here. Since you've got my back already. I got his back. <laughs> we get back on him. <laughs> uh, please, folks, this is a great chance to enjoy yourself. And you'll find notices, uh, you'll find your, in your family, you'll have a friendly sharing. Because if you can do 10 or 15 minutes like this, you can actually get off there and say, hey, I'm walking on air. There's a different feeling. I feel loose. I feel free. And your attitude changes. And oh, that's the yes. story. Now, My attitude is beaming. Good. Now the final is the hips on the yes. kidney, the kidneys on the hips. Right. And I am taking small inhalations and small exhalations, no. expanding my diaphragm and contracting it naturally. He's aware of his lips, uh, uh, knees, knees being there. Now, under and some lips, and lips, <laughs> and this, <laughs> under some circumstances, we will allow those people who feel awkward from here down to do a toe and heel. Now this toe and heel is a very subtle exercise for the whole of the foot. Thank you, camera. We're going to bring you back. And if you're into familiar with reflexology, you will see that all your organs and all the nerve endings are found in the toes and the feet. And this toe and heel, carry on, this toe is doing all those organs and uh, spine and all the heels. It's also freeing up the ankle, giving the ankle some freedom and movement, which is the maximum movement of every bone in the body is what you're after without pain and stress. It's giving the maximum movement of the knee. Be aware on this one here, you can put your knee back further. 
Mitchell has a knee about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch forward and that will start to go out. And then you do the other side, you do that, yeah. And on the out breath, you can actually push them right back here, yeah, just there. Okay. And now you come back, that is exercise. We now come back and clean the mess that we created or clean up the electric and uric acid and everything. Mm -hmm. and coming back here and doing the gentle breath. All right. Hips straight, right and left, left and right, top and bottom. Careful now, Ian. Bottom and top, back and forth, forth and back, up and down the spine, both sides. Onto this position, you've done a full energizing program, which can be done in five to six minutes, but please take your 10 to 15. And if you're really off work and you're really serious about your health, once an hour for five to eight minutes will be the greatest benefit you will do to your body. But for general use, maintenance, 10 minutes, first thing in the morning, first thing in the morning, last thing at night, last thing at night, and the best time is after a big meal or coming home from work. If you're stressful, get on it. If yeah, you have exactly. pain, if you have pain, get on it. And if you're only on for a few minutes, even if you don't have 10 minutes, not instead of the 10 minute regimen, but throughout the day, if you get a chance, just hop on for a few minutes. You're yeah. moving lymph. And the smaller the movement, the more you're moving the lymph. And the more the body will relax, the more you release. I discipline, discipline six of my children I brought up, and I was happy to say, after they've been on here, their whole attitude changes. And this is the key to life. It's an Absolutely. attitude change. Absolutely. And a good posture. Flexibility. Good attitude. Yeah. It's and a good really. attitude follows from good posture. Yep. Automatic. And the beam in the eyes. And he gets this cheeky grin on his face, actually, oh. and you can't take it off. God. It's one of those, one of those <laughs> I can't things. can't stop <laughs> since I've been doing this, Ian. All right. Well, now you've got to okay. finish off doing your, your lay down. Okay. Show them how you do it. Right, gently oh. lay down and l watch the spine lay down here and go crack, 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 crack. I have had at least six or seven cracks <sighs> and, let, and let it relax. You can give it a little wiggle. Sometimes you just give a little wiggle and say, oh, what's that feel like? And then appreciate yourself. Yeah, you love yourself. <laughs> uh, love those ribs. Many of our, many of our problems with the body is people not accepting who they are and what they are. This is not a philosophy, it's a fact. If you try to disown any part of this body, it will go into stress and go into reaction and give you hassles. Absolutely true. Now, uh, there's a lot of people don't like these uh, periods you don't have. A lot of people don't like the pain in their uh, back, uh, in their lower back. You hold your lower back. They don't like the pain in the shoulder. You hold it and give it uh, a bit of love. Those with specific diseases will benefit by holding that area at night time but specifically even on the on the lymphocyzer and moving it there and acknowledging it, especially this place when it lays down here because you've been moving it's now ready to say thank you and relax <sighs> and there is a good 10 minutes of it i feel good. One of the underlying points, Ian, that you made that I want to just underscore again because it's so very important. There is a very definitive, at this point, highly proven relationship between the mind and the body. We all know it in our gut where we also have neuroreceptor sites. We also know it in science, hard science. Now please know, how you think about your body, as Ian was saying, is of utmost importance to how your body expresses itself in life. So, love your body, consciously love your body, and guess what happens? Your body will start to love you, and you'll have this very sweet relationship. So Ian, is there another point that you want to make Please, before uh, we close down? You've I walked us through this extremely yeah. well, okay. and I think everybody now knows um. how to do it, and what's happening when they do it, Please. and let's show them the dry state. Please because this whole the most important photo is the dry state where the cells can communicate and feel at ease here they're under stress and this is the start of disease the start of fat accumulation the start of, start of distortion the start, start of uh, bad posture it is this oxygen within these little tiny blobs that have to come to the cell 
So until this is energized, either with uh, our energy, we do it with energy, some therapists do it with pressure, herbs and vitamins, uh, some people can do it with temperature, but on this unit it is all controlled by your central nervous system because when we put our hands on our kidneys, not only do we give the kidneys the uh, maximum energy from the hands, which I will pull out from nowhere, <laughs> film. There it is. And that is a... Don't miss this, folks. This is the energy coming out the hands and the feet. And if you can put your hands onto any part of the body, you have extra energy coming out. Remember, there are lymph nodes all over the body. They're primarily centralized up around the neck where you've got over 200 lymph nodes just around the neck. Mm -hmm. And they're dumping down right in the center of the body. Remember, the lymph system is the vacuum cleaner of the body. It helps clean the entire body, the cells and the blood system. So it's got a lot of work to do and it doesn't have a pump. It needs you. It needs movement. It needs your breathing deeply. And it needs your very small energizing on this lovely energizer that Ian has gone to pains yeah. to engineer. It's, uh, it's 15 years of a development. It's the last four years. We can say black and white congratulatory. It's up to you. Your health is your That's choice. That's right. We're going to use the billions of one-way valves. These are proven, these little one-way valves. Give a focus on that, please. This is a simple, That's simple right. program. There you go. Very simple complex. Okay. Now, we must need good water. Put that one down. We must understand that the water is your conductor and the communicator in your body. We are primarily water. Yep. And we need to have a plenty good, of it. Plenty of it. And let it clean out. Now, what we're after, would you put the mathematics of the body? The and envelope, please. <laughs> this is it. The posture of a good body is determined from the top of those bones to the peak up here and from the shoulders down to the top of those bones. Exactly. The formation of a triangle. Yep, the equilateral and squares and everything's represented there. Absolutely. Now, uh, what we did, did tell you, we're working with the lymph system and the lymph system, if we painted this lymph system, it would be a complete black blob, but it's a one-way system. This is why the one-way valves work gently. Can you imagine six stone of water going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh? Can you imagine the power of jogging? Can you, now, I'm not saying jogging is critical, but for those who are really good health, they have to be to take through this. But That's we're right. finding, we have a triathlon, expert, uh, triathlon lady in New Zealand actually uh, won medals, and yet she can't walk across this room now, though, because she brought up her muscles in three systems, which blocked out other systems and shut down the motoring mm. of his body. Wonderful. Now. The central nervous system is the only one on every human which will know the answers. So this is why we work with getting the sacrum working. Full acknowledgement must go to Frank Mahoney, ex-deceased, uh, who founded Hypertonics, but many touch for her people and other people know the power of, of the sacrum. Many therapies now are going straight into the sacrum because this is the way to clean it up. But if I be very honest with you, Get your diaphragm, the most important muscle, working first, which will work your, work your lungs, work your ribs, will work your vertebrae, which works the sacrum. You exactly. can, and you have to put your hips into straight as many times as you can a day. Now, I'm saying to you, you can do this on the street at the bus stop. You can do it anywhere. Put your hips into straight with a little strokes and st tell people. Very good. Now, I'd like to so, finish. Can we finish? Please. Please. This is the finishing run. This is the home run. The home run. This unit has been designed to work on all these systems of the body. Very specifically on the lymph system because it's the cleansing system. It's the electrical system of the body. It's communication from my point of view. It's the digestion. It's the immune. It, it's the one that takes the energies everywhere. We work on the respiratory. Now, if you only get asthma and respiratory problems are very common. So if we can get this little sniff, sniff, four, six out, and then go three and four out, and then next time you'll find you'll come to seven in and eight out. Don't stress out when you can't get there. Just relax and you'll go extra. Accept what your body does. Do not push your body. Okay.
every heart and every leg and every muscle in the body is important. We have more success with heart than any other thing because it is a priority vessel, priority muscle, and it comes up very quick. This gentle business will never stress or hurt him. If you have broken bones, you hold them, and if you have any area that's aching, you hold them and give them support while you bounce. If you're a cripple, you lay on it. If it's a baby, you lay on it and do the bouncing for them, very gently. We have the cerebral spinal fluid, and you, could you think of anything better for the, for the in intestines? Just keeping it going, the metabolic system of the body. You have a complete Wonderful. A to Z holistic approach for clearing your body. I wish you well, and please keep and communicate with the person who, who lucky enough passed on to you this unit. Thank Ian, you very much. Thank you for walking us through in such an elegant way right. how we can take care of ourselves and yeah. for taking the time in your life to construct um, this system. It is the most really uh, uh, exciting you. feeling I've had at meeting the people who own lymphocytes. I have thousands of friends just due to lymphocytes. I have not, I've only seen one or two ever sold again and this is because they moved out of country and they've been offered back to me mm. because they felt they were so grat grateful. Yeah. This is really a quantum leap in lymphocytes mm. because it's lymphocytes and energizing. This is why you have gotten this system and we want to wish mm. you a tremendous amount of good health in your use of it. For those of you who would like more information or to get additional ones, certainly speak first to your distributor who got this to you in the first place. For others and for other questions that you may have, you can feel free to call 1-800-533-HEAL. That's 1-800-533-HEAL. We have additional videos because Ian was a guest of mine on my cable television show, A Better World, which is aired throughout the country. And if you would like, you can call 212-420-0800. That's New York City, 212-420-0800 if you would like to get those videos, the mm -hmm. interviews of Ian going into greater depth about how to maximize your experience on this wonderful human life energizer. Thanks so much. This is the host and producer, Mitchell J. Rabin, working with Ian to bring this word out to more and more people so people can be, all of you, all of us, can be empowered in our lives mm. to take health back into our lives where it always belonged. Take it away from where we've been asking others to help us. Now we can really, in the most powerful way, help ourselves. I'd like to have one final say. The people who have helped you in the past have dedicated their life in their therapies of many different fields. Every therapy works at the right time and the right reason. But if you have not got your oxygen levels built up in the body, how are you going to rejuvenate? If you have not got your lymph system moving to take away the toxins they release, how are you going to get there? We want the therapist to get this because when you go to a therapist, if they're a higher level than you, you will receive the right instruction right on time. That's Thank right. you very much and I really appreciate this USA introduction. Ah, it is my pleasure, mate. Thank you. Very good. Feel free to call those numbers, get more videos and spread the word. Thank you.
Hello, and welcome to the wonderful world of energizing. This is Mitchell J. Rabin and Ian Pettit, the father of this wonderful unit you have just gotten, is going to be walking us through how to use this unit for maximum health maximum wellness and to overcome any kind of ailments, imbalances you may presently have. So without further ado, we welcome Ian Pettit to take us through. He'll be talking about how to do it as well as why we're doing each single 